Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma bada habita fillah I wanted to talk about how knowledge can help you and some of the ways that ilm can benefit you and and we have to know and understand first and foremost that ilm ilm can be divided into two types ilm nafi' wa ilm ghayr nafi' beneficial knowledge and knowledge which is not beneficial and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to supplicate Allahumma inni as'alaka al-ilm al-nafiya ruskin tayyibu amla mutaqabilin Oh Allah, I ask you for beneficial knowledge and ilm al-nafiya ruskin tayyiba and you know ample and righteous provisions and deeds which are accepted, meaning righteous deeds. You know, deeds that are accepted are righteous deeds. Bid'ah is rejected. Sin is rejected. And they actually cause you harm. Likewise, with the ilm and nafia, beneficial knowledge, meaning what's implied in that is that there is knowledge which has no benefit. Knowledge that it was without benefit. And the Prophet wasallam used to seek refuge in from gaining from knowledge which has no benefit. So that's from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam likewise is to seek refuge in Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala from knowledge which has no benefit. So, of course, first and foremost is knowing that al shar the knowledge of the uh, shar of Sharia is beneficial knowledge. That is what truly with the ulama they refer to uh, almost absolute, although there are some ulama, they mention that also other knowledge, which is a wasila, is a means, and I tend to have, uh, you know, find that as an interesting uh, perspective, and believe that there's, there's truth in that, and Allah knows best, that there's also knowledge which may not pertain to the shara, but may be a wasila, it may be a means to uh, benefit you in this life and the next. You know, it may be a means to help you be a better believer, to help you have a better risk, to, so that way you have more free time or to free up your time or whatever the case may be. And it may be uh, uh, a very, uh, from another science instead of Islamic. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. The point being is most of the ulama, they refer to ilm al as knowledge of Islam, knowledge of the book of Allah, and the son of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and knowledge of the madhab of the salaf because it's muqayyid knowledge should be muqayyid uh, that, that beneficial knowledge, the truly beneficial knowledge is going to help you come closer to Allah help you in your practice is knowledge which is muqayyid meaning that you're following the Quran and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the madhab of the salaf and the way of the salaf how they understood those divine texts. And so, that is the first point I want to mention, is that knowledge is beneficial and knowledge can be harmful. Some of the examples of harmful knowledge, knowledge of shirk, meaning getting detailed knowledge of shirk. Uh, a, a, a good brother of mine, he mentioned that where he studies at a university, that when he goes, they have a beautiful Islamic library at the university, of course. And he said that also, when you go into the certain library where he has to do the graduate studies, he said that they have, uh, that they have a whole section on Satanism, on <laughs> how to worship the shaitan, that the... You know, that the, of course it's a library, it's an academic institution, so they have books on everything. And so it, they have a huge library, a huge section, which is devoted to learning about Satanism from every aspect, from its history, from its, its uh, practice to its testimony during, you know, those who test, who, who've been witnesses to it and all kind of other various branches of looking at it, from anthropo anthropological or whatever, all the various sciences. The point being, that is ilm, 
Layanfa. That is knowledge which is really not beneficial unless someone is a, a student of knowledge that is well grounded is going to look into that in order to refute or something of that nature. So that brings up the the elm nafiyah uh, uh, the the elm that's beneficial. Another point with regards to knowledge, knowledge helps you to free yourself from the the chains of taklid of the chains of blind following. That means you won't have to blindly follow. You don't have to say, Sheikh so-and-so said, this student of knowledge said, I heard him say that, and it's got to be the truth, or I blind follow that, and I'm not going to go against, in, I'm going to go against every other opinion because he said it, because of his personality, because of his fame, because, no, al Nafia frees you from that uh, by gaining knowledge of the shara. That lets you know that, that gives you options and it gives you so that you can make knowledge-based decisions, knowledge-based opinions, knowledge-based views, knowledge, uh, 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 decisions and viewpoints that are based on the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And so that's a, a, a part of knowledge is a, is a part of freedom. Knowledge is a part of freedom. Also with the knowledge, Ahabatifillah, <clears throat> Another point of uh, uh, of knowledge is knowledge is also by gaining knowledge of the shara. This is knowledge of uh, coming closer to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. This is knowledge of Jannah, knowledge of Jannah, of how to come closer to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and how to worship Him properly. <clears throat> and so, uh, the Prophet ﷺ said, you know, that's, that's the knowledge of the path to Jannah. And that is the path to Jannah, because the Prophet ﷺ said, مَنْ سَلَقَ تَرِيكٍ يَلْتَلْمَسُهُ بِهِ عَلْمٍ صَحَ لَلَّهُ لَهُ تَرِيكٍ إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path to Jannah. Uh, in addition to that, so that means, علم النافية, and practicing it, learning it, Preaching it, most importantly practicing it, is going to bring you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is the Sabila Mu'minin, it's Sabila Jannah. Because how can you know, how can you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if it isn't on the ilm wa basira wa fiqh? Uh, another point of knowledge is that if you gain beneficial knowledge and you share it and you leave behind this benefit, as is in the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, where he said that if a person dies his deeds are uh, cease, they cut except three Al -al uh, uh, the first being Subhanallah, these big cave looking things here. MashaAllah. He said, and kata al amalahu ilamin thalaf, that his, uh, his deed ceased to take three. The first, a sadaka jariya. Uh, sadaka, you know, uh, sadaka that is sadaka. Uh, continuous charity. So if you build a masjid, you do something khair, you, you, you know, uh, give some land to the Muslims and they build in the, a well, build a well for people. Some, some, some sort of continuous charity that after you die, it's still there and people still benefit and have khair from it. The, the second uh, point that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned uh, uh, a knowledge which is benefited from. So there's the point of mention in this hadith, there's the shahid, is that, and forgive me for being so loud, but it's better, especially now that the weather's changed, in case, <coughs> in case there's a bear or, you know, even as a potential, there's cougars out here. But we want to make sure that they know we're coming and they know to avoid us. 
and that we don't encroach encroach on their uh, their land. So, al el yuntavabi knowledge in which uh, the the that that can be benefited from. So we want to also, when you gain beneficial knowledge, ahabita fillah, that beneficial knowledge, whoa, really storming, no jacket, the beneficial knowledge, no cover, uh, the El Manafia, pick up the pace, try to make it to the car, <laughs> uh, this beneficial knowledge, you leave that behind, and it will follow you in the hereafter. Look at Imam Bukhari. Look at, look at the Sahaba first. Because they transmitted the Ahadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the Tabi'in with Tabi'in. Tabi. Look at the Salaf al What they left behind. All those treasures, they receive reward. And when we're mentioning Sayyid Ibn Musayyib, when we mention the Sahaba, they are receiving reward for what they left behind. And we be in the law will receive reward for what we share. And so this is Elmi and Tafabi. The people benefit from this knowledge. And then the third thing, a wallet in Salihan Yadu'ulahu. And the third thing is a righteous child who supplicates for you. And may Allah bless our children to be righteous. I mean, so Elm is also the path to Jannah, as we said. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And those are just some of the benefits of seeking knowledge. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.